away they go. They are racing for the custodian of the two Holy Mosques Saudi Cup contest over the 1800 metres. An early pace comes from Mayamar, one of the white stable runners, to uh, go and break the line. Also, there is Mazuna, the white distinguishing cap for Holly Doyle, and a distinctive style there at the head of affairs. Final destination is also up for them as well. Al Moon Gate was slow from the gate and is at the back of the field at the moment. Pin your hopes towards the rear and also Boundless Ocean. But there's a right old charge going on here as they make their way down towards the turn out of the back straight. Wide and prominent is see the Casper. Scotland Yard, the yellow distinguishing cap, is also prominent. Yatarez is up the inside there, racing in third spot. Also there, not too far away, uh, is Holly Doyle with the uh, white cap there aboard Mazuna. On that one's outside, getting a little bit closer. Now we've got Power in Numbers, who moves into a good posse as well. So they're still four or five abreast as they make their way around the turn. It's Wooten Sun, who's also come through to just about lead. So it's Wooten Sun that leads to Yatarez in second. Doyle now pushing along aboard Mazuna. Then towards the outside, Power in Numbers continues to make nice headway. And right round the outer comes last year's winner, Scotland Yard, who strolls into the lead. So it's Scotland Yard, Power in Numbers. These two now just threatening to pair off a little bit to Wooten Sun, who races in third, but looks a bit tired. Then Yatarez in fourth, trying to stay on from the back of the field. There is De Rivo, who's also got a good record in this race. They swing for Ho. It's last year's winner, Scotland Yard, that leads them at the moment to Power in Numbers in second. Then De Rivo in third position, staying on his pin your home who was way off the pace in the early stages. That's a part of the race now, and it's still Scotland Yard just doing second position, power in numbers. Scotland Yard trying to back up in this race and punch his ticket to the Saudi Cup, but he doesn't seem to fancy it. Power in numbers over on the far side. It's beginning to get up. Power in numbers, Scotland Yard, power in numbers. Beat Scotland Yard, the Revo finished in third position. Final destination got going late as well. What a thrilling finish to the custodian of the two How Holy Mosque Saudi Cup. A fantastic performance in the end by power in numbers. Scotland Yard, oh, Scotland Yard backers must have been fearing, well, hoping for the best as he absolutely sluiced into the lead looking to repeat last year's victory and last year's easy victory as well. But in the end, he's been done by power in numbers. And that man, Camillo Ospina, Goodness me. You want a big race jockey, easier man. Power in numbers, gate 11. And it was interesting, there was a, a real bun fight for the lead here. There was uh, no quarter Arsenal given at the head of affairs. There were five or six abreast as they came to the turn. But power in numbers. We're interested to see the race back again. But he, in the hands of his Colombian jockey, has scored. And, well, these Shamila... Camillo interviews are becoming more and more numerous these days and he's a very very emotional jockey this is a man who's ridden plenty of winners here at Riyadh but very few will mean as much to him as this one power in numbers has scored and goes to the Saudi Cup Scotland Yard was second Derivo has run a heroic race in third as well with such a good record in this race and he's added to that with a third place here martin was taking you through he's a previous winner previously placed and he's placed again here de Rivo. so that was your one two three power in numbers scotland yard and de Rivo. those who watched from the expensive seats have enjoyed that no doubt about it final destination has finished in fourth and that was a good effort as well so a really good win from power in numbers who has now won six times it is saudi korea almar moom gates finished in fifth Goodness me, he was miles back.